Look at this problem. It seems relatively easy, right? But when you work on it, you may find it complicated. However, the solution is surprisingly short and smart. Hello, welcome to Herman to Math, and I'm Herman. Before giving you the solution, let me explain the problem with some examples to make sure you really understand it. A flips n plus one coins, and B flips n coins. It means we don't know exactly how many coins they toss. The only thing we know is that A flips one coin more than B. Let's say n is ten. It means A tosses eleven coins, and B ten coins. And what is the probability that A gets more heads than B? Since A flips more coins, right? I guess it is quite natural to think that A is more likely to get more heads than B, right? For example, A got seven heads while B got five heads, or A got five heads while B got four heads, etc. But is it true? If you want to figure it out, you may pause the video now and have a try. After giving me a like and subscribing to my channel, of course. In three seconds, I'm going to show you the super smart solution. Three, two, one, ready, go. First of all, let's simplify the question by using some symbols. The probability of A getting more heads than B is what we are looking for. Now, if we focus on the number of tails instead of heads, we can express the probability this way. Since a coin is either heads or tails, having more What? heads means having fewer tails. What? However, please pay attention here. Since A has one toss more than B, we have to be careful not to overlook that the number of tails can be equal. For example, let's say n is ten again. If A has five heads and six tails. And B has four heads and six tails. See, A has more heads, but doesn't have fewer tails because they both have six tails, right? This is the reason why I include the equal sign. Now, let me play around with the inequality sign. In this world, there are only three kinds of relationships: less than, equal to, and more than. So. If we exclude the less than or equal to, we will get the more than. Okay, a very interesting thing here: heads or tails are simply patches on a coin. Neither of them carry more weight than the other. So, equally, a flipping for more heads is as likely to get more tails. We can use the same symbols. To express them, say p. Following the basic algebra, we have p equals to a half. Not only is the way of solving this problem surprisingly smart, but also the answer is quite counterintuitive, right? Even though a tosses more coins, a doesn't have any advantage to get more heads or tails. The probability is just fifty-fifty. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and hit the bell not to miss the next episode. This is Herman. See you in the next video. Bye bye.